Good surprising day all here on Wednesday, uh, November the 16th. I'm going to try to look this way as much as possible so that the light doesn't get in the way. <laughs> uh, anyway, we are having a little potluck dinner tonight for two people who are leaving us at work. Um, and something quick, simple, easy that I can actually make um, are of course my fluffs that I make. Uh, it started with like the birthday cake Oreo fluff. Um, I made this one slightly different than I usually make it. I used more of the, from what I remember, my mom making her Watergate salad. Um, and I looked some of the recipes up on uh, YouTube out of curiosity. I did not use cottage cheese. Why? It's supposed to be sweet. Like that's, 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 that's a dirty trick. Like, no, we don't, we don't do that here. Um, <laughs> I also did not use water. I saw some people use like hot and cold water. Um, I didn't make jello before I made uh, the fluff. And I have the fluff right here and it is orange and it it tastes orangey. Um, of course I had to take a couple take a couple of a little nibbles myself. Now this is a lot. I read on the bottom here. Uh, I don't know where I found. Well, I found this at Walmart a long time ago because it has this handy dandy little Clippy, clippy lid, you clip it and you're done. Um, I always make too much because I want to make sure that there's enough for everybody. On the bottom here, it says 8.1 quarts, 7.7 .7 liters. Um, so the recipe I'm going to give you is the easy, like if you're just making half this amount, I always double to make a whole lot. <laughs> um, but it was just, it was just, I wasn't sure if this was going to work out because the last time I tried to use uh, a jello thing, but um, I didn't, I also, I did not use the cream cheese. I did not use milk this time. So there was not liquid, so it didn't get too liquidy because I just started with the cool whip. Um, and for this, it's just the, the bigger one, the 16, 16 ounces. There again, if you're making a quick, simple one, uh, I got a box each of orange and vanilla because I thought I, I wanted it to be orange but I also kind of wanted it to be kind of creamy kind of like an orange creamsicle-y kind of thing so I thought the vanilla might bring out the creamy side of it um, and it did. I tried to turn that off. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear my heat running but so uh, just one box of each of these uh, for this simple recipe remember um, if you want because I, I doubled it up. And then I got just a can, regular can, of uh, the 15 ounce of the mandarin oranges to put in it. And um, the, when I make the Watergate salad, uh, the juice from the pineapple that helps kind of mix everything up, uh, there was a lot more juice in this can. It does say in light syrup. Um, so my first can that I dumped in, I just went ahead and left the juice with it so that it could, but then it got a little bit, it got a little, little bit, a little bit watery. As I was continuing to mix it together, it got better. But then I put the second dose of all of this in and <laughs> the second, the second can, I did drain the juice out of it. Um, so that the mandarin oranges and I don't know hopefully they stayed together in there as I was mixing stuff I don't know if I um, Ripped them apart or what and a little bit of fluff on my finger. So And that was it um, No dirty Cottage cheese espionage I, since I didn't make it with the cottage cheese That's not something that I would have thought of that's kind of like every time I go and I see that fruit salad at like you know, the Chinese buffet or whatever, and it, ha it has like the mayonnaise in it. And I'm like, God damn it, it's the fucking mayonnaise salad because it looks so good. And then it's like mayonnaise. And I'm like, that's God, you know, I just want to burn the world to the ground. <laughs> I just, every time I hate when I get that trick. So since I didn't make it with cottage cheese, maybe it comes out OK with cottage cheese. I, I would not expect. Um, <laughs> that sounds like a whole nother taste to me. I don't know. Maybe it comes, but there's nothing, because, you know, I, I I like my sweet stuff. So there is nothing, nothing but the sweetness in here, okay? There's nothing but that. And I mean, a little bit of fruit, you know? Um, but yeah, everything mixed up okay, you know? And like I said, here we go. Here's the fluff. You can kind of see 
kind of see a mandarin orange right there, I think. So, a couple in there, maybe. But, uh, yeah, that was, that was all I did. Um, and it came out okay. And, it, like I said, I didn't use the milk. I, I, was, I was thinking maybe that would be okay, because I tried to do a Starburst one one time, because I used the Starburst Jello. So anytime, apparently, if I'm going to use a Jello mix, um, I want to not use the, the milk, and it'll come out okay. <laughs> it'll come out, like, not, um, not, uh, it ended up setting up okay once I put it in the fridge and let it cool for a couple, you know, for a, a couple hours, whatever. But, um, but yeah, it, it got, it got more watery than usual. And uh, I don't think that helped the cream cheese mix up because that was the one that ended up with like the chunks of cream cheese in it. <laughs> Still good, I guess. People liked it, so. Um, but anyway, that was my quick, simple, like I said, you know, just putting this because it's like something different than I saw the other, um, maybe even simpler than some of the other people did it. I mean, they, yeah. I mean, basically had the same stuff in it, other than the cream cheese or the, the water. I didn't. I don't really know why they were doing the water with it, but it comes out okay without any of that. So you're good. You're good. Um, other than that, I'm gonna put this in the fridge. Hopefully, it's enjoyed. <laughs> and I'll see y'all for what I see you.